Vivo wants to focus on the Gen Z audience with its new T-series of smartphones. The company says that these are well designed, have good specifications at attractive prices. The first smartphone is the Vivo T1 5G, which is priced at 15,990 rupees. Now, is it capable of taking on the tough competition in the sub 20,000 rupee segment? That's what we are here to find out in this review. Let's start with pricing. The Vivo T1 is offered in three variants. The base 4GB RAM variant is priced at 15,990 rupees, whereas the 6GB RAM and 8GB RAM options are priced at 16,990 and 19,990 respectively. The good part? All of them have 128GB of storage. The Vivo T1 adopts a new design language with flat sides all around. It is thin at 8.25 mm and weighs 187 grams. The big 6.58 inch display sports a rather dated looking dewdrop notch. The T1 5G has a plastic frame with the power and volume buttons on the right. The power button has a fingerprint scanner inbuilt which makes unlocking the phone easy. The left of the phone is bare while the top has the SIM tray and secondary microphone. At the bottom, the T1 5G has a 3.5mm headphone jack, USB Type-C port, loudspeaker and primary microphone. Vivo has made the back completely flat and even the camera module in the top left corner doesn't protrude much. The Rainbow Fantasy variant that I had was striking to look at with its sparkly iridescent finish shifted color every time the phone was moved around. This helped hide fingerprints quite well, but you also get a clear case in the box. The 6.58 inch LCD panel on the Vivo T1 5G sports a 120Hz refresh rate and Panda glass for protection. The panel is set to smart switch by default, allowing it to automatically switch between 60Hz, 90Hz and 120Hz refresh rates. You also get a peak touch sampling rate of 240Hz when the phone is in gaming mode. Vivo is powering the T1 with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 SoC and says it has added a vapor cooling chamber to keep the SoC from heating up. The phone also has a RAM expansion feature that allows you to use a preset amount of storage as RAM. While the 128GB of internal storage feels generous, you can expand it using a micro SD card in the hybrid SIM slot. Vivo ships the T1 5G with One Touch OS running on top of Android 12. It gets new Android features such as the privacy dashboard which lets you see which apps have access to the microphone, camera, your location and other things. Vivo has also implemented privacy indicators so you will see a green or orange dot in the corner of the screen when the camera or the microphone have been used by any app. Vivo has made multiple customizations and you can apply your own style with the Themes app. It even lets you choose animations on the device. While this is all great, the phone does come with a lot of bloatware pre-installed. Thankfully, these can be uninstalled completely. GameSpace lets you access all your games in one place and gives you a breakdown of the time you spent playing them. The Ultra Game Mode offers a nifty voice changer and also lets you block incoming notifications and lock the screen brightness. An eSports mode does all these things too, but also disables gestures and allocates SOC resources based on the current frame rate and temperature. The Vivo T1 5G offered snappy performance and did not show any signs of slowing down in my experience. Multitasking was a breeze and apps loaded quickly. The single bottom firing speaker was loud, but a stereo speaker is always better. Vivo's side-mounted fingerprint scanner only needed a single tap to unlock the smartphone and face recognition worked consistently. Battlegrounds Mobile India ran at HD graphics and high frame rate settings without any stutters. After 15 minutes, I noticed a 3% drop in the battery level, which is acceptable. The Vivo T1 packs in a 5000mAh battery, which is adequate capacity but the 18W charging is slower than the competition. With my light to medium usage, the Vivo T1 5G lasted me about 2 days. In our HD video loop test, the phone went on for 18 hours and 48 minutes. The supplied charger got the phone to 33% in 30 minutes and 64% in an hour, taking around an hour and a half to charge completely. The Vivo T1 5G sports a triple camera setup consisting of a 15 megapixel primary camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. For selfies, it has a 16 megapixel shooter. 
The camera app is pretty straightforward and easy to use. Shooting modes can be changed by swiping easily. Vivo also claims to offer super night mode which helps in low light photography and portrait styles which are basically filters that you can apply on a portrait photo. Now strangely these are missing on the base 4GB variant. You also don't get dual camera bokeh and the phone relies on a single camera instead. In daylight, the Vivo T1 managed detailed photos. The primary camera's output had good colors and text at a distance was also legible. But it struggled with exposure in brighter scenes. You don't get an ultra wide angle camera on the Vivo T1 5G which is a miss. Close up photos were decent but those taken under direct sunlight had boosted colors. Portraits had decent edge detection but the phone did struggle to separate the subject correctly from the background at times. The macro camera allowed me to get close to objects and could capture tiny details quite well. Low light shots were strictly average. Colors appeared muted and the primary camera could not capture much detail in the shadows. With super night mode enabled, the phone needed 4 to 5 seconds to take a shot. But these were brighter with more detail in the shadows and improved colors. Selfies were quite detailed too and the phone could manage HDR shots in bright scenes quite well. Low light selfies with a light source nearby were sharper than those taken in dimly lit environments. You can shoot 1080p video with the primary rear camera as well as the selfie camera. The output wasn't stabilized and there were noticeable shakes in the video recorded while walking around. Low light footage was slightly grainy and had jitter. The Vivo T1 5G is the first smartphone in the new T-series that's aimed at Gen Z buyers. Vivo has focused on sought after specifications such as a powerful SoC, 5G, a 120Hz refresh rate display and a big battery. But certain compromises have been made in order to deliver these at an aggressive price such as the dew drop notch that looks dated, limited 5G band support, no ultra wide angle camera and only 18 watt charging. The entry-level 4GB RAM variant of the Vivo T1 5G also misses out on some camera features which potential buyers should be aware of. While some of these factors will make the Vivo T1 5G less appealing to some buyers, the pricing will still make sense to many others. If you are looking for alternatives, you can take a look at the Moto G71 5G, the Realme 8S 5G and the Redmi Note 11 T 5G instead. So that was my review of the Vivo T1. What do you think about this smartphone? Do let me know that in the comments down below. And as always, for all things tech, stay tuned to Gadgets360.com.